paper game. So, uh, yeah. anyway, this is uh, Zensha and right. I'm Esman. So this is the semi-final of our 1K series. Um, they've already started. We are seeing Kelvin <laughs> Chu with 4C Omnath Blade against yeah. Miguel Eldrazi Tron. So yeah. So Kelvin, who's in a better position now? Right now, uh, it's hard to see the cards in hand, but I think we're gonna see whether the Ren and Six gets taken out. Mm. So yeah, 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 Ren and Six has yeah, so much value. It's right? so much value. It's seen, five yeah. as well. You've seen all throughout today. So Oof. many Ren and Sixes. <laughs> okay, so we know that Miguel only runs one Kevin or Soul, and he has it in hand, which means now. Now the mana leaks and Quellas works. Oh, oh Quellas will Quella work. works, yes. Quella works. And we see the Quella coming yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. The beautiful play there from okay, Kevin, just keeping the Quella out. And also we forgot that uh, there were two ticks on the Ren and Six, so it didn't die actually. Yep, yep. yep. So now uh, you can actually protect the Ren and Six one more turn, right? but you lose the Quella and you put in a top note to you. So yeah. at yeah, this point of time, what does Kevin have in there? We see a Horizon can and PE. I see a I think an oust? An oust? Like, oh, maybe it's a uh, Mystics. Uh, Stone Forge. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of lands. And uh, there is two Elves, Winter there is Elves, yeah. yeah, Elves, yeah. So if you don't know this 4C Omnath Blade is looking to just slow the game yeah. down a bit, <laughs> you know, find <laughs> Omnath yeah. and some value engines is, has the fairy yeah, and Ren in 6. Yeah. And yeah, so he's just trying to control the game and hopefully, yeah. you know, we'll see what he can do. It's just the best colours in Magic, right? Yeah. Why black? You don't and need the thing is that Miguel here is missing his Tron lens, yep. which is a big thing. So yeah. he can't really ramp up like exactly. he would want to. But again, we're in the same position where despite the, you know, the Ban player having this advantage, she's not really threatening the other player right now. Yep, yep, yep. So you can see an Alf come in. Hmm. So Ren and Six there ticking up to bring back yeah. the Windswept Heath. Uh, oust means that Miguel gains three, three life. life. <laughs> you can see Miguel has not played against yeah. Oust in a very... Yeah. So he's just second from the top. No so. one knows what Oust <laughs> does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Kenister is the one who started playing quite actively with that. Is it? <laughs> I, I don't know, actually. Yeah, Kenister <laughs> has a tendency to bring these weird cards, man. <laughs> but he invented Inverter, so... And broke Pioneer. So, right. Yeah, so it's pretty hardcore there. I mean, Oust has done so much work against uh, <laughs> yeah. Death Shadow today, yeah. right? So... <laughs> the, yeah. I'll flip your sketch and then I'll kill your shadow yeah. in such a <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you gain life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I see Khan actually mm. in Miguel's hand. Mm. Uh but does oh yeah, and he, and he has a basic land. Okay. So what else can he do here? There's an Ugin that's stuck in there. Mm. Do you yeah, think he should it's... actually crack the map? to get a second Tron land. I right. think you can always crack the map when you know that you're not doing proactive onto the map. It's, it's, it's an option here, but mm. he laid the waste as well, so he is not thinking about it this turn, I think. Yeah. I think the question he is asking himself right now, if he does he get a chance to resolve this Khan? Yeah. Because the, this, this is the unfortunate reality, right? If you keep holding it off, your opponent's going to draw more. Exactly. So you might as well just bait yeah. it out, right? Whatever yeah. interaction he has. Uh, but Kelvin, yeah, doesn't have it. But Kelvin also very nicely, <laughs> in a seasoned player, took the pause. He has, <laughs> yeah. he actually, I think he has three lands at least, maybe yeah. four. I think he has three lands. spell snare? As a spell snare. Yeah. But he took that pause like, yeah. I will allow it <laughs> yes. as a blue player, you know. <laughs> as you, a blue player, you can have it. <laughs> yeah, you play against my <laughs> Viral deck, right? <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Spells. Yeah. What did I counter your hope of Jerem? Everything. You counted <laughs> everything, yeah. <laughs> Bad decisions were made. <laughs> yes, and... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so Miguel uh, here oof. going into this uh, wish board yep. with Khan and that says <laughs> it's liquid metal coating. Yeah, liquid metal yeah. coating to hand which mm. means that uh, now even Khan, Khan is not threatened on the board. He will have to down take his own Ren and Six to kill it. Yep. Yeah, and uh, that'd be interesting as well because uh, I mean, Khan is in a slightly risky position here but again, Gavin just seems to be drawing land. Yeah, he does have a sword. He yeah. just found a sword but he decided not yeah. to play it. So uh, we do yep. see the line we saw, which is the yeah. queller into the rent take. Yeah, you see the sword. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Will you play the sword here? I don't know. He doesn't have any interaction, so yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah. Um, oh wow. Okay. okay, so he just wants to draw cards. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's house. Another house. <laughs> not great in this matchup, yeah. I would say. Uh, not fantastic. Yeah. Mm. So, so now we see him dabbing up for the sword. Yeah. So, and yeah, sword here is a... I like the sword because it represents 8 mana. So, you're actually leading up. <laughs> right. Yeah, so you mm. you have 2 to equip and then you play a threat and then you can go again as well. But here, you know, Tron is just playing without Tron, which is quite funny. So. Yeah, very strange. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, he's wondering what the sword does. <laughs> because... <laughs> One side is playing with Japanese, the yeah. other side is playing with, like, Spanish, Spanish cards. <laughs> <laughs> so here in Singapore, we're very multiracial, <laughs> multilingual. Yeah, very <laughs> true. 
Uh, there is. Uh, he doesn't have the mana, so he's also been missing land drops. Uh, he is going to cast. Uh, so he's pointing to the cavern of souls. Mm. <laughs> very clearly. Yeah, it's very clear. Yeah, you can't counter me now. Yeah. He will set the map. He hasn't dropped the land this turn. I think now he starts to assemble Tron. Mm. He might. Oh, he goes to the blast zone. Okay. That's interesting. Huh. So what he's trying to say here is that Kevin doesn't actually have a way to interact with the spell queller. Uh, dying so he's going to threaten to kill the spell queller, get the top knots here and you know represent damage on the board and at the same time taking out the sword yeah at the yeah. same time taking out the sword but let me just check something is there a, is there a sneaky play <laughs> anyway so the sword gets onto the spell queller so Kelvin just uh, tapping one more and looks like he's getting rid of the mm -hmm. Miguel's creature with another oust yep another oust coming back second mm -hmm. on the top uh, yeah, no, so it's interesting here. If he did if he did have a Teferi, he could oust his own spell coil in response, but he doesn't, so... Yeah. yeah. So here you're going to see the crack in response. Yeah, so the value from the the sword there. Uh, but I think they haven't updated the life totals. <laughs> yes, because yeah. he should have taken uh, four. Five, I believe. Four, four damage. The sword is plus two, plus, plus two, two, and yeah. then the quell is a two, three. So he should be at 20. Yeah. But we'll see if they uh, update the life. Yeah, now we can just send yeah. a reminder yeah. out as well. Oh, so we do see the <laughs> You were just talking about the fairy there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the fairy is going to come down, it's going to lock out the games in a sense because, you know, there's not much instant speed uh, reactions, but all you're going to see now is that all the sorceries now have instant speed mm. as well. So the owls actually can be used proactively to protect his own queller. Yeah. Uh, so maybe we missed something about the life. Uh, I, I'm not sure. But I think we'll just uh, let them figure it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, there were two owls. Ah, so, okay. yes. Alright, so there we go. Kelvin yeah, just now Kev him. Kevin has just <laughs> recognized that there yep, is a the damage was The damage was <laughs> <laughs> quite important in this game of magic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we do see a Seagate uh, wreckage, wreckage. Yeah, mm -hmm. come in as well. So he's going about it a long yeah, way. <laughs> many lands, but uh, only one Tron land. And, uh, he's one of casting a uh, Ugin actually uh, sorry uh, Khan Liberated which he does have in hand right yeah so now it depends does he get the window to go down and again we see Kevin just drawing lands yeah, yeah all lands my goodness <laughs> so uh, yeah, but it is scary when you're the trap player and the opposing guy has seven cards yeah. in hand and you're like <laughs> and a uh, the fairy and uh, he's gonna and buy back a land and he just wants to draw cards I think yeah, but you see this line kind of if I, if I was the Tron player I will read that you know this kind of means that his hand is just junk yeah, <laughs> yeah. but then again he draws one card you see so yeah. oh, that's an oust so <laughs> the, the third oust and he, he just needs to leave open the Quella I think yep but is that really useful against Tron because they're going to be casting big big things right yeah it's yeah. going to be casting big things um uh, mm. Well, so that's the thing also with the longer games as Eldrazi Tron gets to pivot so yeah. he started off with a very aggressive line yeah then now he's going to yeah, but I think this is where the card advantage comes in from the yep, sword. Yep. Because making Miguel discard all his cards. Sure. And, okay. Yeah, so the, 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 yeah, so he's explaining <laughs> now that because of the fairy that won't resolve, you will never see the yep. Tossi here again. So, so ban the fairy. A lot so. of value. <laughs> <laughs> and getting back that Quella. Yeah, yeah getting yeah. back the Quella as well. So that saves it from yeah. Blast Zone. So he's going to use the time to take out the mana. So right mm. now, the good thing, this interesting about it is that Blast Zone now is going to kill the Sword and yes. the Queller. No, uh, sorry, the Teferi. Oh, and the Teferi. Because he well. bounced the Queller back to, yeah, to yeah, save yeah. it, right? Yeah. yeah. So just hearing our tree is such a great... Yeah. Uh, and I <laughs> realised the only reason why Blast Zone isn't so expensive is because it can't kill tokens. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it can <laughs> never kill tokens. If you could kill tokens, uh, it would be really, really good. <laughs> But Calvin there just discarding all his lands. <laughs> he's, he's drawn a bunch of lands this game. Yep. Uh, let's see what Miguel has. He does have that reshape that has been casted like a billion <laughs> times at this point of time. It's been ousted twice. It's going to get ousted again. <laughs> yes. very soon, I believe. <laughs> Uh, but the thing is that now Kelvin doesn't have a threat on board, yeah, right? So no threat. He has a sword, but it's going to get blown up. But, um, Kelvin here, right? So I like what Miguel's doing. He's saying, play, he, play your thing and I'll blow everything up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he can't really quell her, yeah. you know, and take that. Oh, okay. all right. So now he has a threat. It's uh, he yeah. drew a mist, a stone yeah. watch. Yeah. So I like the uptick here. It kind of represents that he's playing out aggressively as a you know protection mm. and a removal at the same mm. time. Hmm. Uh, you're definitely gonna see the stone watch coming. Yeah, in. for it, sure. Yeah. Full art as well. <laughs> Extended. Yeah. Art. Sure. <laughs> Just it's like you know. You know why flex. not? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you think it's Battle Skull? Yep. yep I, th sure. I think his list only has Battle Skull at this point to draw on. Right. 
Oh yeah, because the sword is already. Released. Yeah, sword is up. Mm. So Kelvin's list. Uh, here we have two battle skulls and one sword of peace and famine. Yep, that's it. And nothing on the sideboard as well. Mm. So just three equipments. Mm. Not legacy, no GTAs here. No. <laughs> <laughs> what a broken card. I remember the first time I played with GTA, I was like, uh -huh. wait, it does what? <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know, so yeah. much text, right? Yeah. There's just a chunk of text. Wait, wait, I don't have to hit you? <laughs> Any combat damage will do? And I can just shoot stuff now? Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, so Miguel yeah. here uh, did not activate Blast Zone. Yeah, he does get a relic. Mm. I think he's playing the soul game as well because he realizes that, well, you know, the life totals have not changed much. Yeah, yeah. It's been, I think it's turn 7, 8 right now, <laughs> and he's only, he's only taken 4 damage. And yeah. he still has 2 walkers to deal yeah. with. So, relic, activating relic there. No, relic is just taking out one card, yeah. taking out the ulcer away. Taking out the yeah. ulcer. Hmm. So this is a game of who blinks first, right? Especially with the, with the blast zone set at 3 right now. He's probably waiting for Kelvin to equip it mm. right, yeah. before activating it. Mm. So he wants to get as much value as possible. And Kelvin, I think, just wants to draw some good cards instead yeah. of lands. <laughs> <laughs> Cast the Scurse, he draws a Hell of Fountain. <laughs> yes. now, how many lands uh, do you need, right? This is, but this is the problem of playing a 4C deck, right? Of course, you, yeah. yeah, I think you splash for what, 24 lands, I believe? I mean, a yeah, a lot yeah, of lands. Let me yeah. just do a quick yeah, 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 this is Kelvin's uh, list. So a bunch of lands, but Horizon Canopy has helped in quite a lot. And uh, Miguel here just cracking the relic to exile all the graveyards and draw a card. Yep. So Kelvin, I think, is try trying to decide whether he should 23 take out lands. the Eldrazi. Oh, okay. <laughs> 23 lands, so 23 you are lands. Gonna, there's a chance of flooding. Yeah. You know, I play 18 in my Blitz and I flood. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think he at this point he has mm. like 5 on the... Mm. Uh, in the graveyard, really. <laughs> yeah. In exile because of, of Relic. Yeah, he's still another tree yeah. then, so... Yeah. So I think Miguel just cra uh, exiling graveyards to stop the Ren and Six Recursion, probably. Yep. Mm. And shut out the mana train as well. Mm. So and we actually see a Hello Fountain, Shocking, and Pass. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, casually yeah. leaving up two Spell Quellers. <laughs> The, so here, the, the curious thing actually, if, the, if Miguel goes for it and plays a big Planeswalker this turn, I don't think there's an interaction from Kevin's yeah, side. No. <laughs> there, there isn't, yeah. for sure. Uh, he doesn't have Mana Ooh, Leak. He Chalice doesn't as have... Well. The thing is that now Blast Zone is just holding Kevin hostage, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah there's <laughs> no interaction there. Yeah. You know, in the uh, game 2, he does have the Field of Ruin. So he can right. go for perhaps, that. Perhaps, perhaps. But in response, he'll just sack the thing. So mm. has to be very early turns. Yep, so it looks like he's passing. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he might want to activate Stoneforge here. Yeah. Yep, to get in a uh, better skull. Yeah. No uh, Kelvin Chu token. No token, very <laughs> disappointed right now. Yes. <laughs> Oust uh, for the third time. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright, so Miguel can't do much about this. Yeah, he can. He can He can sacrifice the Blast Zone, but yeah. I don't think he'll do it at this particular turn, will he? Is there a reason to though? No, he yes he is. Okay. He's choosing to do so. Yep, so Blast Zone just takes out the sword and the fairy. Yep. And ah, okay. okay. So, so he, he just wanted, wanted yeah, the yeah, reshape a mm, trigger. Yeah. After having it bounced uh, twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And again he's gonna get rid of the graveyard so that there is no uh, gonna get rid of the stuff on the graveyard so the recursion that like you're saying, yeah. Yeah. But now Kelvin is in a pretty good position. Yeah. I mean, Battle Skull is a big, big hitter, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. It's going to help stabilize the board. We're going to see the crack again. Yeah. Renzik is going to bring that back again. I think too early in the relic there. The trigger, when he uh, targets it, you can actually respond to that yes, trigger. So, yes, yes. you know, another Stoneforge here, not extended. Mm. Uh, so, we're not going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> not worth playing. Yeah. No. All right. So, Kelvin just asking the question whether yeah. Miguel wants to. And now he will second. Yeah. Yep. So he, yep. I think that Horizon Canopy has been sacked like at least four times to draw a card. <laughs> yeah, power yeah. of Ren and Six. Yeah. Alright, so Battle Skull there, getting in for five four. or four. Yeah, it's a 4-4 four, four four, four, yep. Yeah, so it goes down 16 to 17, stabilizing the board a bit. See a Windswept Heave, another Stone Forge as well. So that's his... Uh, another Battle Skull. Yeah. Only two Battle Skulls left. 
So Mystic is useless from here on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So for yeah. Mystic doesn't do much now. Yeah. It's a one two chonker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget that other Stone Forge actually is uh can tap it down. So at the end of the turn, we're expecting to see two battle skulls mm. in. Yeah. 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 So with two it's battle pretty, skulls yeah, in, you are one point away from killing him because you got eight damage, two Stone Forge, and around six ping. So. And we do see the seven land, so yeah. Question now is, does he dare go for it? He does have the can liberated. He can take out. He can take out the battle skull. I feel like he's just been playing around, uh, Kelvin's yeah. counter spells, right? Yeah. But there comes a time you have to just yeah, go, for go for it. it. Yeah. So he is going yeah. for it. Yeah. He's, he's thinking. He's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> because the only thing he has to be afraid of is mana leak. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Going to chalice in one. Okay. Is that <laughs> <laughs> all right? So spell snare takes yeah. that out. Meta reshaper. Mm. I think you swing into the. Can you swing or you can't? There's a better skull in play yeah, as well. Yeah, and so there's you, another yep, one. Yeah, there's here the other yeah. better skull as well. Whew. Things are looking dangerous right now. Yeah. And we also see there is an owl, I believe, in the hand. So mm. he actually mm. he, he doesn't represent answer. little yet. He's one off. Eight nine. Uh, because the stone watch were untapped so they can swing in for 10 and then the Renaissance can ping ah, for 1 yes, yes, yes. so, so one yeah so 1 off I don't think he has, I, I mean he he doesn't have a sword anymore it's been exiled no. as well so well he could find another Ren in 6 ah uh, yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know oh. <laughs> I believe that there is little, so yeah, he's, Kevin sees the line now yeah. he's just checking that there's no alternate text to when the thing is uh, <laughs> called it yeah auntie nice <laughs> On the nice taking out uh, Miguel's soul Eldrazi. Yeah. Yep, so Miguel's just uh, making sure Double it works. Double checking the yeah. thing because there is an interaction with the yeah. way it's counted and the way it's played as well. Yeah, yeah because it's not an instant sorcery, I believe. Mm. So then we see the 10 damage come in and then we're going to see a ping here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. yep, so Miguel's is gonna play another down one and there's the yeah. second run in six. Just yep. like he planned. <laughs> <laughs> so I think yeah. that was the only way to get uh, another one damage. In. Yeah, that was the yeah. <laughs> And he found it. He has reach, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Kelvin Chu yeah. takes um, game one yeah. of the semi-final against Eldrazi Tron and that was impressive. Yeah. Right, for sure. Yeah. Very impressive. But we also have to remember that Tron wasn't really doing what it was planning yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah. He never saw his uh, yeah. Tron lens. So. Although I do think he was a bit overly cautious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, we get to see that there's no real interactions. I yeah. think, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. But the spell snare <laughs> on the chalice was just like, oh, that's the only spell counter I have actually. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, he's not going to yeah. get much. Uh, can't really counter much, right? On two mana against Eldrazi Tron. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So this is we're just gonna look through Kelvin's uh, sideboard and Miguel's and Miguel's Miguel's list. Someone has neat hair. I think that's the first. <laughs> <laughs> what would Kelvin bring though? Kelvin here, he's definitely gonna want to take in uh, uh, forces on negation. Actually, maybe it's an uh, option for him and a mm -hmm. uh, ruin. You haven't seen it yet, but you do know that I can't see it as well. So mm. force of negation allows you to kind of uh, you know tap out and you know trick your opponent into yeah, a yeah, sense yeah. of uh, three forces. Yeah. Right? yeah, and and but you remember that the back text on force of negation, which exile doesn't really matter to the etron yep. because he can fetch it from exile. Yeah, with Khan. I've yep. been punished by that many a time. <laughs> and I, yep. But I exiled it. No, no, Khan <laughs> fetches from everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> He's the great creator. But I think for Miguel, probably nothing to bring in. It's I think you might bring in a damping sphere, actually. And the main board itself because uh, you're always playing one threat and your opponents are always playing a Stoneforge Mystic into a Noble Hierarch and you know their planeswalkers are low enough I see I see so you just want to kind of text them out of the game and you don't just really for the early turns yeah because yeah, 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 yeah. you're not he every yeah, game yeah, he yeah. played one <laughs> and he was like oh no okay go next <laughs> but it's uh, again I think the is the strength and the weakness of e-tron is that you're running your sideboard as a wish list. yeah, yeah. Uh, so if your answers are not your main board you don't have answers yeah, so the inability in that game he actually found a liquid metal coating, right? Yes, he but did. Never got to use it. Yeah, because yeah. the can't got taken out. Yeah, uh, but also, and again, it is in a similar game when we saw uh, Chong Yi come back against uh, the Ban Snowblade uh, as well, Omnath Blade. Sorry, mm. it was on the back of the Ren and Six and the ah, constant yeah. value he got. Yeah, the value. Yeah, so Ren yeah. and Six just resolving on. It's yeah. like two mana planes. <laughs> yeah, so come on, much, so strong. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but okay, so we actually featured Miguel before and mm. Kelvin. Yeah. So uh, they're both, I think, on uh, either undefeated or just one loss. Mm. 
So the first time he saw Miguel, he just natural thrown. Yeah, you know, correct. Game yeah, yeah. That was insane. Yeah. yeah. I think Miguel's right. If he lost the Grixis matchup, so I think Kelvin is undefeated. Kelvin is probably yeah, undefeated, yeah. yes. Kelvin is undefeated. Mm. So after this, we should have one more round, which is the finals. Mm-hmm. Um, we actually don't know whether there will be. Right, yeah, it depends. <laughs> because this is double elimination. Um, it's uh, it's very messy. Yeah. But yeah. Also, it's Singapore. Yes, Singapore. <laughs> People are efficient with what they want yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we actually see a relatively decent Good. land, but he chooses huh. to punt it. Unless I saw wrongly, was it one land? No, I think I saw at least three lands. Oh, but no blue, maybe. Perhaps, yeah. Yeah. Because there was Omnaf, but uh, Miguel has a has a blast zone. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> so he's. I think Miguel's gonna he's gonna keep as well. It's interesting. I don't see Tron in his hand, so. Yeah. Maybe I'm not going to Tron player. For me, it's but Tron or Buzz. I know, right? Because <laughs> I always assume that Tron players yeah. want to mulligan Tron, into, yeah. a, into a natural Tron as mm. fast as possible. Uh, but that first game, he just took it so slow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's interesting. It's mm. interesting to see where he ends up. Alright, so wow, that's a Force of Negation. Yep. That's a wooded Foothill. A Tireless Striker. Yeah. So. yeah, that Force coming in, like I was yeah. mentioning. Yeah, that's yeah. Snap Keep from Kelvin. <laughs> uh, now, we, now we see why. Because, you know, you, you don't need Tron when you got a Drazi yeah. Temple. If you get another Temple here, that's a turn oh. 2 top saver. Oh, it's a, okay. okay. It's not as bad. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a fair land. It's a fair it's land. For now, for now. For now. <laughs> yep, so probably going to get the Triumph. We've always uh, mm. seen this very familiar play pattern once again. Yep. Triumph just fixes all your colours. You know, yeah. Again. Uh, it's a great card. Uh, points yeah. deducted for him not having. Hmm. Yes, uh, Amirudin. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, oh, yes. that makes you have stop s- Tron. That's yeah. normally sideboarded against Tron. Yeah. But I think like you said, if he's playing just one spell a turn. Yeah, mm. and, and no, because the lens don't tap for mana, I think what he means. But I think he's also... Oh, I don't yeah, think yeah. he's trying to assemble Tron anymore. But now he oh, does. Now he is. <laughs> but he's going for... He just want colors to the land. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oof. So we get actually to see Ooh. the hand, which is great. Which is strong, actually. Yeah, here, what do you go for? Wow, I don't know. It depends what's in Miguel's hand. Mm. Uh, if he has something big, I would probably take the force. Mm. But otherwise, uh, the Omnath is going to get so much value. Don't forget, right? with the force right now, he can't pitch anything to it. Yes, but he can hard cast yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yes. Always forget that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. He can always hard cast it. What, you're paying for it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we see the Omnath yeah. taken out. So Omnath, yeah, because it's so much value, right? Yep. ETBs draws a card and everything. Uh, so I'm not sure why it's back in there. I think he's still <laughs> choosing. Because you always got to consider what's in your own hand, right? Yeah, if exactly. there's a big thing that's you know worth countering, then probably want to take the counter spell. But tireless tracker will get so much value, so. Yeah, but yeah. you're not really that scared of a three two and right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, human uh, gonna do against, yeah, against uh, Aldrazi? <laughs> Even plane talkers gonna do anything. <laughs> Yep, so decides on the Omna. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, so now it looks like Kelvin just wants to keep up. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, wow, that's a Ren and Six. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, good old Ren and Six. Eh? So we see the Tyler Striker come in here. All right, Kenji and Alfred just reminding us that Omnaf is blue. Yes, Omnaf is blue. Yeah, but if he, take, <laughs> if he takes the if he takes the if Omnaf, he takes Omnaf, yeah, that's that's what nothing about. to pitch. Yeah. If he takes the Omnaf, he has nothing to pitch. Yeah. Yes, we remember Omnaf. It's all colors but black. <laughs> <laughs> so we see the blast zone come in here. One ticker come in. Uh, we gonna see another top notch here come down. I believe I saw that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so that's gonna get rid of the force if he's scared of that. He might go for Ren and Six. He might go I mean, Ren and Six is... I think Kevin's aware of it because his Ren and Six is upside down, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like, sure I'm gonna, why. He's like, oh, I'm going to show it to him very soon. Yeah. And he's going to take it. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, but that's... Uh, one, two, five mana? Oh, oh he's yeah. going to play the top, the Smasher. Yeah. <laughs> that's really a Smasher. It comes in yeah, and Yeah, that's <laughs> huge. <laughs> so, Kevin all the way down to nine. Yes. That's... Yeah. Oh, but he draws the owls off the top. Okay. Yeah. He needs that. And he has two <laughs> white sources here. So he, can he go red and six and oust? Yeah. He has misty. Yeah. 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 He has a rain for misty rainforest. He has misty. You know, but your life total is getting lower. Mm. We do see that the top knot here come down as well. All right. So oust taking care of uh, top knot. Mm-hmm. And Kevin gets the trigger to draw as well. He sees another card. He sees a stoneforge ah. mystic here. 
I actually am a fan more of the Stoneforge because right because yeah. you get better skull and it's a blocker as well yeah yeah yep yep so very good uh, draw there yeah so interesting here from uh, Miguel we saw that he had the other top knots here but he chose to go with a more aggressive line mm. I would have preferred the top knot because you, the reality smash is always coming down with haste that's true yeah, yeah so yeah. you know at least you get to take out something with his hand Right, uh, it did represent a two-turn clock if he had removal yeah, for the tracker, correct. right? Yeah, yeah. But so, you played the first game, you saw the amount of like <laughs> you got ousted like four yeah, times, yeah, and you yeah. got like Horizon Canopy <laughs> a billion times after that as well. So coming yeah. here with his uh, Misty Rainforest and, and and a clue and a clue. <laughs> we need to get Kevin tokens. Right? Yeah, Kevin tokens. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna see the a waste come down. So is there anything he can do besides the top notes here? Uh, I can't really see his because <laughs> the players are playing. <laughs> what about Kelvin here just taking the damage? Huh? Yeah, because he knows he has a battle scar to stabilize right now. Mm. But we're going to see the top notes here actually come down and take out yeah. the battle scar. So Kevin, maybe your plan wasn't as good as you thought it were. And he can't force it as well. Yeah, so maybe know. next level play. Yep, so maybe I'll just <laughs> going no, straight no, for no. the battle scar. Yeah. <laughs> don't try to bait me with the upside down red and say yeah. I don't care. <laughs> yep. Alright. So, Kelvin in a pretty tough spot here. Yeah, pretty precarious yeah, right now. Yeah, down to 3. Miguel's still at 23. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if he... Did he... Nothing from his sideboard, right? It's just... He just drew into more aggressive hand. He just I drew guess. more aggressive. Mm. I have, we haven't seen anything yet. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good point on the damping spear as well. Yeah. Uh, this is a problem, right? Colorless doesn't really run interactions with planeswalkers as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, but Kevin's changing up the kind of like uh, tempo in game 2. He's going more creature heavy right now. He just mm. has that lineup. Which is just the... This is the beauty of playing four colors, and yeah, you know you. <laughs> so many options. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you want to do? I'll do everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. And for you know, black supposed to be the graveyard recursion. I think Kevin has recurred a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. Graveyard. Yeah. Ren and six has just done so much yeah. work. Yeah, but let's see if he can get out of this. So because we see a four. Yeah. And yeah. another best skull. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, no, no it's, sure. a, it's a foil windswept heath, sorry. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, it looks like it's covered because yeah. of the, the, the silver, yeah. right? Yes. Alright, so he's gonna dig for answers, looks yep. like. And another random six. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he, doesn't uh, have a, uh, he does have the red source on the yeah. prior if you want. Counters on one. Mm -hmm. So, tough spot, tough spot. And that's a Teferi, right? I think I saw looks like a Teferi a Ren and Six and a Force mm. and the Force has just been stuck in his hand because you know once Miguel knows about yeah, it yeah right? yeah, you just gotta yeah. play around it and Miguel has been playing more creatures this time around yeah and I think Kelvin also wants to hold up the Teferi just to pitch it to Force yeah. perhaps yeah hmm so interesting position here is because his life total is at 3 yeah yeah it's quite and now with no better skull to stabilize yeah, the ball, yeah. right yeah, it's interesting. Uh, does he not have a land? He does have a land. He does have a windswept heat. He does have yeah. a windswept heat, sorry. So he could go something if he if he wanted to. He could go something like he could play a windswept, get the Teferi on the board, mm. you know. Uh, wait a turn later, flicker the... Flick, flick <laughs> the battle, yeah, oh. flick the Stoneforge, get the next <laughs> battle skull, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But can he? He can't survive though because he needs to block both the creatures. Oh yes, so yeah. he will actually lose that. Yeah, uh, yeah. So this is uh, interesting here. I so think he, he, I think he was considering what land to play. Yeah, yeah. So he went with the fo uh, field of ruin. He can the fairy bounce as well. Yeah, he could. Yeah, for sure. And I think that is gonna be the mode he uses. Uh, yeah, and he gets to draw from the yeah. top knot, right? Yeah. He draws twice, I believe. He will draw once for the fairy and once for top knot. Right. Yes. He doesn't choose to. I think he forgot the trigger. Oh, yeah, yeah there so we go. then now he yeah. remembers the trigger. It's Kelvin. Yeah, 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 yeah he's <laughs> not going to forget the trigger. Yeah, I was, like, I was quite surprised he did, actually. Oh, and that's oh, game, dear. I think. Yep, that's game. Because he has trampled yep, as well, yep, so yeah, yep. no interaction there. So, it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the end. A very long, slow turn for yeah. death. Yes. <laughs> So Miguel just taking it down with uh, trampling Eldrazi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, going off the... Com which is again like... Uh, I think what we're seeing right now in Modern is that decks that have the ability to attack from different axes yeah, exactly. are doing a lot better. Yeah. So yeah, so is it Blitz is starting to fall off and you know, like decks yeah. like Rekdos, Prowess, yeah, is yeah. starting to go like... 
A lot okay. of, uh, in this field, a lot of aggro decks, <laughs> right? Uh, but then you yeah. see these kind of stone blade yeah. decks and it's yeah. just evolving to fit in different kind yeah. of strategies like you said. Yeah. So, but I wonder what he does here because uh, well, he Miguel, does, Miguel was... Yeah. Seems to be playing two different decks, actually. The first Correct. game, he was very slow and controly yeah. in a sense. But yeah. the second game, he was just smashing it. Yeah, he just evolved into yeah, the yeah, monster yeah. thing. I think here also, the other thing is uh, uh, being on the play, uh, I know the draw is going to be very different. Right. Yeah, so resolving that random sixes that we saw dead in hand, so yeah. it's just yeah. increment, incremental yeah. value that you know they can't ignore. What's interesting, we do see sideboards coming out, mm. so I'll be curious to find out after this game what is actually Miguel bringing in. Yeah, yeah like, very strange. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I saw Kelvin change a few cards as well. Mm. So I wonder if he took out Force. Yeah, because, I think he might realize right, the, yeah. Yeah. Force was the dead card yeah. as well. Uh, could be just, you know, Miguel drew then mm. half of his deck. Because yep. he does play a lot of non-creatures. I mean, there's Ugin, there's four Khans. Um... No, actually, he plays more creatures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thought Knots here, Meta Reshaper, yeah. Reality Smashers, Emrakul, yeah, a lot yeah. of creatures. We yeah. haven't seen their Walking Ballista actually come out in any of these games. Yeah, yeah, and there are three of them. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I think Kelvin may have decided to take out Force. Maybe one or two. Yeah. yeah. I think maybe on the draw, you, you want it. On the play, you would take mm, it out. Mm. Yeah. So, all tied up now at 1-1. One, one. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is our semi-final. Could be our final, mm -hmm. <laughs> depending on how the games go. Uh, so this will be posted yeah. onto YouTube. Uh, yeah, Kelvin Chu against Big yeah. yeah. We have to get a highlight clip of that. Uh, yes. Rain and six kill. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good win. Yeah. And uh, that long turn, uh, <laughs> the last turn that Miguel just slammed down the yeah, yeah. <laughs> smasher. I too have reach. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Kelvin, well, with a high rock. Uh, yep, so Kelvin starts off. Wind no place keeping. Mm. I wonder if he shocks in. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> want so, to keep his life totally healthy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, for this deck, they either want to get a basic or a triumph. Yep. Right. So turn one with a high rock that's very strong. Yeah. Yeah, very strong. What makes high rock so strong? Well, I mean, you get <laughs> exalted, you get three colors <laughs> yeah. yeah she can swing yeah. herself <laughs> <laughs> she could oh we go with a tap tron lane <laughs> oh no with a dismember wow so that's from his sideboard right Cause yeah that's his sideboard two he has copies two. in the sideboard and taking yeah. four life from that yeah and he both the bird right <laughs> both kill <laughs> shows the power of that yeah, yeah. of the high rock also double towers mm. now you see a fetch come in and here he probably gets a triumph. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Telegraphed lines. Yes. Uh, I do see another fetch land in uh, yeah, I think it's an Eric Massa mm. saying that as well. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I saw a Force of Negation in the deck. Oh, really? So okay, I think okay. he has at least one copy yeah, in there. Yeah, I think it's just a... Just in case. It's a hit yeah. track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to lose a card liberator and then look at the... I know, right? $180 <laughs> worth of Forces in your sideboard going like... Uh, but his hand has a mana leak, I believe. And looks like three lands. So, yeah. Sweet. Not missing his land drops anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> but again, with the, as soon as you see like the Kevin of Souls come down, then you're like, well, I guess mana leaks can just throw yeah, it out the window. Useless. <laughs> yeah. You can use them as, uh, you know, coasters <laughs> at the point. <laughs> so, see Dylan's Tracker coming in again. Dylan's and... Tracker is like, oh, we see a warping wheel. Okay. So, Miguel just playing uh, Eldrazi Control. Yeah, no, <laughs> not really. No, we're actually going to see him come out with a uh, with a. Uh, he's able to cast a four mana spell now because of the second. Ah, ability. yes, yes, yes. Yep. Scavenging your grounds into yeah thought knots here. Yeah, so Kevin there's just revealing two lands, right? <laughs> the oust again. And the oust. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't want the thought not to keep going back. Yeah. Yeah. Oust yeah. oust is like such an underrated card that it's gone to be it like is. oh wow it's it amazing is. now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeah, which makes it suddenly make the Izzet decks and all the other decks like less and less good, which is why maybe I should pivot away from them. <laughs> yeah. Does it really affect Izzet that much? Yeah, because uh, some of the creatures are a bit slower, so your soul scar mage as well. You're not putting see, in the I second see. at the top, and you're not can tripping as well. Ah, yeah. yeah but yeah, the yeah. main thing that has Izzet is the, the fairies. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Okay, so nothing really happened uh, on Kelvin's side. Yeah, just a tireless tracker. You see a blast zone come in, one counter. Once again, you know, Miguel just not really assembling Tron. Yeah. You know, 
It's very strange. Yeah. In my perspective, yeah. at least. <laughs> it's like, I don't need Tron to win this yeah. game. I'm just going to beat you with giant Eldrazi. So. Yeah. Interesting here that he chooses to go for the uh, the high arc instead of taking out a land. Uh, maybe aware that there is no Ren and Six in the hand. Mm. Uh, but he has to remember that uh, Tyler's track is only going to get bigger. More clues are going to come in. Yeah. He's going to start cracking and yeah. drawing as well. Okay, so Kelvin shocking in a breeding pool. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, so he can immediately crack and you know draw a card. Yeah, I can even do it twice. You know, make the th- tracker go to a five four. Five four, yeah. Yeah, five four. Then he can trade. Yeah, he can yeah. trade. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he would want to, but yeah. you know. <laughs> but I think he wants the card draw for that. Yep, quick one clue. See what you get first. Mm. So I just say though, I'm not a fan of Kelvin sleeves. <laughs> Lime green. <laughs> it's an interesting choice. Araya Fuasa is not coming yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's going to double crack. Yep, makes yep. sense why yep. he shocked for it as well. Uh, but this is his turn, right? No, it's oh, no. Step. Okay, okay. And yeah. he's doing yeah. it in response sure. to the thing. So Oof. we see a spell, spell quite like a, a force a on the force. game. A force, wow. So he just has so much interaction in hand. Yeah. And now he can actually start swinging... In yeah. if he wants to I think we, we see a Ulumok in Ooh, <laughs> because, Ulumok. Because, but you're not close to Tron anyway <laughs> so. yep so Kelvin just getting in with the tracker yeah and making another you know key. so in response he's gonna crack if yep. there's no blocks so Miguel sees that line so he's not gonna do anything yeah it's uh, 5 damage coming in right yes yeah. depends he might crack uh, one yeah. clue yeah. and then see where it goes yeah. Yeah. so he is going to do that 6 yep so Tracker goes up to yeah. uh, remember Tracker was a $23 card <laughs> it was so expensive yeah the nice like because <laughs> of humans right yeah, yeah, back yeah. then when humans yeah. uh, were dominating okay so before damage I think Miguel yeah. just uh, cracking the sure. relic yep then take 6 yep. Ouch. Yeah. Right, this record doing more with the Eldrazi <laughs> than he yeah. thought it would. And who said a human can't yeah, face yeah, yeah. an Eldrazi? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he on steroids, man. Yeah. It's like some planeswalker pumping magic into his like you know veins kind of stuff. All the clues, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's like Shadow yes. Luffy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For the One Piece fans out there. Okay, uh, yeah. what's happening? So uh, he's choosing not to play the waste, so he just plays the expedition map right. instead. Okay. Because I think he wants to go get his land. Because mm. the big cards uh, seem to be stuck in his hand. Mm. So like we saw in the first game a very nice balance between going the long game, second yeah. game aggressive, but now we're seeing the awkwardness of yeah. having that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, look at Kelvin's hand. I mean, force. <laughs> he has a, a two forces, I think. Uh, yeah, two I, forces: a spell queller, a mana leak. So <laughs> a horizon canopy and oust. I don't. I can't tell what I the last card yeah. is, but yeah. I mean, two forces there, and he can hard cast one yep. as well. <laughs> so. But interesting that he chose not to interact with the the map here. Right. Yeah, he could. Yeah, yeah he could actually. Uh, you know, even he couldn't. He can quell the, the the map as well, but he chose not to. You can you can quell the map. Can't you? No, no, no. It must be a spell, I think. Oh, there's a spell. Yeah. Yeah. So Miguel finding his. Right. Uh, he could force. <laughs> <He's> gonna... <laughs> but that's some next level. Like, <laughs> like there's like <laughs> you lose to the card, right? Oh, Calvin here just. Flashing in a spell queller. Oh, I think he wants to represent lethal. Yep. He, he can't remove he can't. the Eldrazi though. No, he has oust. If that is oh, oust in oust. hand, oh right, okay. If that is oust in hand, he can remove it and then he swings in for. But now tracker is a six. Oh. Ah no, it's a sword. Yes. So sword gets onto. Yep. Yep. So that's a six. It's a four. It's that. It is, it is a little swing. Yeah, six five. So, so he, he has, has to block. block. Yeah. Right. And, and he, he discards yeah. a card. Yeah, you draw. Oof, that sword. My goodness. Sword coming in yeah. big here. Untap the he, land. He naturally, <laughs> he naturally drew it as well. Yeah. Right? So. The reason why that's a fifty dollar card. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And well, I don't see a way out of this. Uh, two forces of negation. <laughs> yeah. So he can hard cast both, I believe. Too. Although, he, yeah, he can. He, he has can, the island. He can, can hard cast both. Uh, no, he can't. He can't. He needs four blue sources. Oh yes, yeah. he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Stone Forge, just Stone Forge, you know, yeah. making sure you have the game. Yeah. Casually, just getting a battle yeah. spell, you know. Oh, yeah, where where are all the damnation and wrath of gods? <laughs> you need that. Well, so this third game seems a bit uh, one-sided. Yeah, it's obviously. A bit, yeah. Uh, 
Man, I don't, I don't think there's any way out for yeah, me. Yeah, no. here. No, with uh, all the interaction in Kelvin's head. Yeah. The, the, also, don't forget Tyler's tracker cracking for the clues. Two draws, yeah. came in for six yeah. damage. Got rid of uh, Tyler's tracker just carrying this game beautifully right the now. The human who could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a meta ship? Mm-hmm. Uh, he has the mana for the mana league. Yeah. So technically, uh, Miguel is not dead on board yep. yet. Still but, has a blocker. But yeah. don't forget that uh, Kevin can simply just tap in the battle scar and then equip it for a tree. So yes. It, yes. Yeah. So he can swing in for that lethal on the board. He's going to choose to leak here to yep. hold off the mana. Yeah, he, right. pays, so, yep, so. he pays. So now window is clear. Mm. And a crook leg as well. <laughs> Yep. Just growing the human. Yep. Yeah. So I think better skull probably just uh, for the win, right? Yep. He played the land here. You activate. Yep. So getting in the better skull, skull, equip better skull. Doesn't care about the germ. Yep. And swing in <laughs> for lethal. Yeah. And this game. Yeah, this game. Handshake. Yep. What a game! <laughs> Unfortunately, a yeah, bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He Kelvin had it all the way. Correct. And, yeah. Uh, but the first two games were really close. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we still have less than ten mm. minutes until the next match, if there is one. Yeah, we'll double check. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to double check. But this should be the semi-final, and most likely we'll. I mean, we'll definitely see Kelvin yeah. Chu with a four C Omnath Blade getting mm-hmm. there. Uh, yeah. So I hope all of you enjoyed watching that. Yeah. It's been a great day. Yeah. I hope we have another game, which should be the final. Yep. Uh, but otherwise... Getting you know, a bit more magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, otherwise we'll see you next time. And let us know in the comments below if you saw anything that uh, was wrong or how we could improve this streaming. Okay. Uh, but yeah, otherwise we will see you all soon. Okay. Yeah.